Okay, if you're feeling a little overwhelmed by putting together the paragraphs entirely and would help you to get the big picture, try going through this exercise to see if you get a better sense of the overall paragraph structure. Grab a worksheet from Ms. Press, um, and it should look like the, the screenshot right here. This is a student paragraph about censorship written by my wonderful student, Emma. It uses evidence from Stalin in 1984. What I'd like you to do is to read through her paragraph and see if you can identify the parts of her paragraph by thinking about what she's doing with each sentence. You'll see circled on the paragraph each sentence is numbered, um, and then there's a column on the right that asks that gives you places to label each part of the paragraph. So you're reading through the paragraph, trying to figure out, okay, what is this sentence doing and which part of the paragraph is it? These are the parts of the paragraph that you are looking for. So you're looking for the argument for the whole paragraph in the topic sentence. You're looking for a bunch of CECA stuff, which stands for context, evidence, citation, and analysis. So you're going to look for context for a control tactic, context, context for the 1984 evidence, the actual evidence from 1984 and its citation, and its analysis, which you should remember has two parts, both the interpretation and the commentary. You're going to look for the same thing for the North Korea evidence. There's going to be context and evidence and a citation and analysis for evidence from North Korea. And then synthesis, which will bring both pieces of evidence together and explain how the tactic makes people unhappy. Keep this list up and pause the video while you look at your worksheet and see if you could figure out and label what each of those sentences are. Okay, now that you are done labeling the parts of your paragraph, let's go through and check your answers. The topic sentence actually takes three whole sentences for Emma, and it's sentences one, two, and three. You'll notice that she gives the tactic that she's going to talk about, she explains what it is, and she connects it to a violation of human rights in the Declaration of Human Rights, citing the article. She also tells us what it does to people's happiness. She says it limits their right to express themselves. So again, your topic sentence lays out the argument for your whole paragraph, and it should say a tactic, a violation of human rights, and an impact on human happiness. In sentences four and five, she gives the context for her control tactic, and this is optional, but it helps us understand exactly what censorship is and why it matters. In sentences six and seven, she goes into the context for her 1984 evidence. So she explains specifically what we need to know about Newspeak and why they have it, so that we can understand the information in her quote itself. In sentence 8, she actually gives the evidence and the citation from 1984. You'll notice she has a quote lead-in that flows into the quote, so she avoids a quote dump, and then she gives a correctly done citation after the quote itself. In sentences 9 and 10, she interprets the quote, so she tells us what we should notice about how Newspeak will affect people and why it matters, so she starts to pick apart what is important about the evidence that she's chosen. In sentence 11, she gives commentary and she explains why this particular instance of censorship would make people unhappy. In sentence 12, she moves into context for North Korea. In sentence 13, she gives the actual evidence that she's using about North Korea. Her evidence is not as detailed as it potentially could be, but this is her evidence for North Korea. I misnumbered sentence, uh, sentences 14 and the one right after it, so it's actually two sentences, gives both her interpretation in the first sentence and her commentary, which forms the analysis for her North Korea evidence. Um, and she explains what we should notice about the evidence and how it connects back to her thesis about how people are made unhappy by these control tactics. And then she closes her paragraph with two sentences of synthesis in sentences 15 and 16 that bring together both pieces of evidence and explain why this control tactic is so detrimental to human happiness. And that's the paragraph. Topic sentence, two rounds of CECA, and synthesis. If you have further questions, try rereading the paragraph again or rewatching the video. There's other examples of how to do the paragraphs and how to put together your analysis on the resources page for the paper. Feel free to ask a friend or to ask me or Mr. LS and we can help you.